Hey y'all, it's Tuesday morning. Welcome to my butterfly garden. I was just over here doing some work and a little female eastern black swallowtail just came and laid some eggs on this pot of dill that I've had sitting back here that I grew from seed. So I'm gonna leave the pot sit here a little longer, see if maybe she'll bring me some more eggs and um, then I'll put it in an enclosure. And look y'all right here, you know how I set up this enclosure out here for all these guys? Look how huge they all are. Well, look at all the chrysalides. The enclosure is white. See, white? So look at the chrysalides. They are also white. Isn't that fantastic? I mean, where would you ever see a white chrysalis on a golf fritillary in nature. I mean, that's that's incredible. And they're all, like all the ones that are hanging up here are white. Well, in the back corner, they're a little bit more tan. But then the ones that are right in the center are white. Y'all, her coloring is gorgeous. I think this is the one I just released this morning still. If you've ever had the occasion where you brought in an egg and the leaf that it's on is drying up, there's something you can do. I just tried it here, I'm gonna show you. So there was an egg, a uh, Eastern Tiger Swallowtail egg on this dry, crunchy leaf. So what I did was I got a fresh leaf and actually I got a fresh um, leaf from a wild black cherry tree because those leaves do much better as cuttings than the wafer ash. And so I trimmed all around on this leaf where the egg was and then I set the trimmed around section on this nice fresh wild black cherry leaf. Now you can see this egg is about to hatch so hopefully later today I'll be able to check in with you and let you know that it successfully hatched and transferred on to the fresh leaf and y'all I also wanted to show you that if you're trying to collect seeds from a pod like milkweed like Asclepius perennis or aquatic milkweed um, I use this, this Velcro, like Velcro tape. I use this for um, staking plants. You can also take a little bit of this and wrap it around the pod so when it opens, the seeds won't go flying. Let me show you. So you can see right here on my Asclepius perennis, I have just wrapped a piece of the tape around and you see how the pods open but the seeds are still there. And I have this other pod wrapped as well. So now I can take these seeds out and grow them for myself instead of having them spread all over the place. Y'all, this is, I believe, a Palamedes swallowtail. This is the one that I have hard, I hardly ever see in my garden. And this is the one I got the red bay for, the tree that I have potted. And I'm so thrilled that it is here. Hey y'all, good morning. It's Friday morning and we had great rain last night and my garden just looks so fresh. Flowers are blooming, there's butterflies everywhere. We're gonna go walk through and see them. And also everybody's out doing their yard work this morning too. You can hear all the mowers, woohoo! Look at this bronze fennel. There was a gorgeous female Eastern Black Swallowtail over here. And she was laying some eggs. There's a giant swallowtail.
Y'all, I was literally just standing here and this whole shelf just fell over. I mean, nothing hit it, nothing bumped it, but now I have a mess to clean up. So I'm gonna go take care of this and uh, hopefully the mower will be done and I'll be back. Hey y'all, look, it worked. Those little crunchy leaf pieces with the eggs on them, they hatched and successfully moved onto a fresh cutting. Woohoo! The other one. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy that that worked out. You guys, this is another way to keep eggs safe. Take one of those little like gossamer gauzy bag. I just got a package in the mail and my the stuff I bought was wrapped in this. So I thought, hey, we'll go out there and tie it on some of those Eastern Black Swallowtail eggs. So isn't that something? I see people do this a lot and suggest it, but I don't know why I've never tried it. So here we go. And y'all, I got my shelf taken care of and then all the pots that fell over cleaned up. And you know, when life gives you lemons, where do you see my lemonade? Look y'all, I moved the shelf in here and now I have more room for cuttings. I still have to bring the grow lights out and get them set up, but <laughs> so that worked. I'll take it. I'll take it. Y'all look who's right here. Out here thriving in my garden. Yeah, I just came out to the Butterfly Haven to get some more cuttings for my golf fritillaries. And there is a female Eastern Black Swallowtail in here just laying eggs all over my parsley. Oh, there's a polydama swallowtail just hanging out in here too. <laughs> How funny is that? Okay, I've got my cuttings ready and they're coming with a friend. See, there's a little friend back there. <laughs> My um, little fuzzy guy that came in on this cosmos, he's moved into the May pot. And he's down here. He is absolutely adorable. You see his little fuzzy self down there? And he's been hanging out <laughs> with the Gulf Fritillaries and the Zebra Long Wings. Is that not adorable? Oh my gosh, I love him so much. Let me see if I can see him a little better. Oh, you know what? Look at that. It looks like he molted. Because, look. <laughs> look at him now. He did molt. All right, you guys, look at this. Okay, this is fascinating. You can see the little netting where he attached himself to the leaf, and there's his shedded, his molted little fur. Look how chubby he is now. You see him back in there? <gasps> how cute is that? Oh my gosh, I wish I could get in there better to show you. Let's get that leaf out of the way. Let's try going down at this angle. That's as good as I can get without disturbing him. Oh my gosh. He's adorable. Okay, so then I was like, oh, that was so fabulous. Look, there's his, there's his, um, his exo, is it exoskeleton? I guess is fur. 
So, I was thinking, look at this little guy, he's frozen. He's like, what's going on? It's okay, it's okay, baby. I'm not doing anything to you. You can go about your business. Um, I was going to take this plant out because he's moved. But... <laughs> There's a chrysalis on it now, a golf fritillary, and do you see that green guy back there? Let me see if I can move it. He's on there, and I don't know who that is. It's not a sulfur. Uh, who knew the cosmos was just such a inhabited plant? So I don't know who that is, but he's on there because he's not my sulfur because there's my sulfur right there doing great. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is so much fun, you guys. This is so much fun. And again, I want to add a little disclaimer. Like, I am not raising and releasing like hundreds of butterflies. Well, that probably looks like it because I do have a lot of golf fertilaries, but we'll just pretend you don't see how many golf fertilaries I have. But I do it to, to share it with you and because I just love them. They're fascinating. All right, let me see if I can get a better shot of this green guy. Okay, there he is. Y'all know who that is? Is it maybe like a hornworm of some kind? On a cosmos. I don't know. I don't know that he's gonna stay here. So I'm not gonna do anything to him. And look, there's the chrysalis. Nature is fabulous. Okay, y'all, I pulled the whole thing out so you can have a better view of the wooly guy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just can't stand it. Look how adorable. I am so glad I came across this one. Y'all, this is my view when I'm sitting in the Butterfly Haven looking out. And the Palamedes Swallowtail is back. He keeps flying by. So I thought you'd enjoy sitting here listening to our neighborhood garbage truck going around picking up trash as we um, watch for the swallowtail to do a flyby. Looks like there's a spice bush swallowtail back in the background. There's a golf fritillary. Looks like there's a great southern white. It just flew in. You see her? She's like, there she is. So I got the um, polydomus out. You can see it flying around over there by the red pentas. There's a golf fritillary over there too. Hang, you can still hear the garbage truck. This is like butterfly gardening inspirations play by play. Now we've got a little skipper in on the scene. A golf fritillary. Polydomus is still back on the red pentas. 
so exciting. It's like there's a spice bush. You see them all back there? Oh, oh, oh. The <laughs> zebra longwing just flew into the enclosure. I literally stopped and got that polydomus out, and there was a golf fritillary, and there was a zebra longwing in here. I got all three of them out, and now zebra longwing just came flying back in. There's a little Horace's dusky wing in here too. Wanna go see him? He's right there enjoying that Biden's elbow that's just randomly growing in here. I love the way like those sections of their wings look like they're clear. Well, let, let's, let, me, let me focus on the butterfly. See those sections of the wing? It looks like they're clear. Like it looks like light just goes right through them. Oh my, he's enjoying that flower. Well, this is kind of nice to sit out here and watch some butterflies with you all because usually I'm just here by myself. My husband's here, but he's in working. And nobody really comes over to play butterfly gardening with me. So it's, it's okay though, because I have you guys. But you can see how much action this is. And this isn't even like the prime time of the day. Like the prime time is early morning when they're all starting to come out. But then the evening, like around five to six, there's usually a lot of them because they're coming down for dinner before they go roost for the night. Y'all, wasn't that fun? That's kind of fun. Maybe we'll do that again. If you'd like to do that again sometime, just type in the comments, yes, let's do it again. If you wouldn't like to do it again, just, you know, don't say anything because you'll hurt my feelings and I'll cry. <laughs> mm -hmm. Y'all, I just released this beautiful Eastern Black Swallowtail female this morning and she is loving the red pentos. Y'all look, this is my first Eastern Tiger Swallowtail that I raised. Got a little video, it's a girl, and my dogs are all making weird dog noises in the background. Mm-hmm. 